Nasty Beans for putting that song in my head all day. <laughs> what song? Isn't that the match game? I don't know what it was, but basically him, <laughs> him, Flair and I were in, um, in talking blocks, just just shooting the breeze in talking blocks, and and he just started doing that, and I'm like, oh, that's catchy. And then, like, ten minutes later, I started doing it, and I'm like, damn it, Andy, for God's sakes, I'm not going to be able to get that out of my head. He tried to change it with some other stuff, but it just didn't work. That that was it. It's just been stuck in my head all day. So, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, Canadia's favourite son, Andy Beads, put that song what's in the, my What's head. the name of the thing you're talking about, Dad? Frisky Dingo. Frisky, Frisky Dingo. Frisky Dingo. <laughs> Good evening, Dr. Feelgood. Oh, crap. Oh, oh, I keep forgetting the course. I need, to, I need to... Well, he's already on. Dr. Feelgood's always there, because Dr. Feelgood is Dr. Feelgood. Yeah. Dr. Feelgood does make me feel good. <laughs> what the... Thank you. What Thank you, Dr. Feelgood. No. <laughs> he extended... Through July. No. Really? Yeah. Oh wow, it's yeah, it is. July. I can see it, yeah. Tier one subscription through July. How awesome is he? He's a, he's pretty awesome. Wow, this is a really long commercial. <laughs> I'm waiting for the commercial to, just just to get to the countdown. Better not be Raid Shadow Legends. That's alright, it's uh, not Raid Shadow Legends. Try it for free. Oh, Grey Mall. I I gotta say I played Raid Shadow Legends. I'm it sorry. Was, well, it was the only game that would allow I could play at school. Mm -hmm. Like all of the other, like I could access, um, what do you call that? That app, Blue Stacks, and it would let, allow me to play certain games, but it wouldn't let me play Galaxy of Heroes. I mean, mm -hmm. that game that we shoved. Too late. Well, no, no, yeah. you said it. You said it. Yes, I knew it. What? I knew I wouldn't be the only person. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> Right, so uh, we've yeah. lost that to the timeout corner. We've lost that to the timeout corner. Uh, yes, uh, but I still have access to my. No, mic. shh. No, no, I can't. Oh, oh, you, you guys talk. You, you are in stop. the naughty corner. Shh. You, you, you can't be on the intro. Nev, you'll be. Uh, you'll be you're shortly in after. You'll be back. Nev, you're in Discord. <laughs> All right. Okay. Thank you, mate. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Gaming embers, you're in Discord. No, that doesn't count. What? It, it doesn't totally count. Can. Naughty corner. Bugger off. You oh. said the game that shall not be named. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, it looks like a good that green wall looks like a good game as well, actually. The graphics. No, stop it! <laughs> Oh my gosh! This if you can't love take doing, getting sent to the, the show with you guys, you're a teacher. How? My God! You should be able to handle being sent to the naughty corner for a few minutes. Yeah, no, no. Um, Raid, Raid Shadow Legends is. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> One minute to go. Go quiet. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Geeking Out with Going Nerdy. 
Uh, I'm your host, well, co-host, and I'm joined by my hetero life partner, Paul Anthony, who is my co-host on the Escape Pod cast, and a bald guy that forgot the rules at the beginning about not mentioning the game that shall not be mentioned, so he was sent to the naughty corner for a few minutes. But because he's such a child, he couldn't even do that. So he put in bobbleheads up. But yes, okay. we are a show that is about geeking out, and we like to geek out about movies and TV shows and video games. And we've got all three for you today. Triple whammy. Triple whammy. Triple whammy. One of us will be talking about the movies, one of us will be talking about TV shows, and one of us will be talking about video games. All geeky, nerdy stuff. So, <laughs> how are you guys doing? Paul, what have you been up to today? Uh, working. <laughs> I've been working and uh, lots of work, but I uh, got home. We recorded, uh, Lama and I recorded the next episode of Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed, um, our podcast for that. And then I uh, tried out Minecraft uh, Dungeons and I'm oh, liking you it. you have. Is it good? Ooh. I do like it. Oh, is it worth streaming? I I really do think so, but yeah. um, I, I don't know if if um, the version that you get from the launcher can be played with the uh, Windows 10 version or not. Oh, I'll have to as try far as the Windows 10 version, I mean the one from the Microsoft Store. Mm -hmm. yeah. But I actually played with an old friend that I have not talked to in Don't five you. six years. He saw me playing it. Um, <laughs> I, we were playing it. That's kind of where I was kind of like dis, uh, distracted. And I didn't get you guys a Zoom link right away. But we had fun. <laughs> we had fun it, playing it. It's, uh, it. If you like Diablo and you like Minecraft, you will like Minecraft Dungeons, in my opinion. Really? Yeah. I, right. I, I like Minecraft. So I'm, I'm going to give the, I'm going to give the demo a try because uh, I really, really want to see. I want to see what it's like. I, I, I want to see if it's streamable. I do. I do think that it is. I think getting a party together and going after it yeah i think so it, it'll so be it is, so it is a getting a party of people together and going and doing stuff is it yeah yeah it is oh it, 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 it's a party game diablo in my opinion but you know you're not playing mario party you're it's playing. just pick up and go <laughs> cool excellent so cool. What, what, what about you thad what have you been up to apart um, from shouting at your kids i uh, i have been what do you call that? Um, a fence. Sanding. Where I fence. take a fence to that. I've been I've been sanding a fence and sandpaper. First off, I started off by hand, and oh my gosh! And then I borrowed a, a sander from a neighbor who's like the greatest freaking neighbor ever. Like he saw me like I told him I was like, yeah, I'm gonna paint my fence. He's like, you want to borrow a power washer? I was like. Yes, yes, I do. Is his name like, Adam by any chance? No, he's not. He's not. Oh. Um, I was going to say, if it, if it was Adam Sander, that Adam's Sander. <laughs> no, no. But then he's like, after I got the power washer, he's like, do you want to, he's like, you're going to paint it, right? I'm like, yeah. And he's like, do you, do you want to borrow a, a paint gun? I'm like, yes. Anyways, he's made this project like so much easier, but <laughs> it's, I'm still complaining about it because I have to sand the freaking fence. I mean, and it's, oh, it's I know. I have to you do having the to work. do menial work, you know. I know. You know what that is? I know. You know what that is, don't you? It's the smallest violin in the world playing just for you, Thaddeus. I, you know what? Thank you. Because I really appreciate the uniqueness of the smallest violin playing its heart out for me in particular. He, yeah. he especially likes violin music. So, you I know, do. it's a good thing. I, first off, first off, I like off, violin music. You, actually, it's good stuff. My we, daughter plays I, violin. Yeah, um, I'm from the south, so we call it the fiddle. Um, but <laughs> uh, violin music. If, if anyone who's like, oh, violin music, that's not good. I defy you, defy you to listen to the soundtrack of the Last of the Mohicans, and tell me you don't like violin music. I mean. Are you also going to tell us to to listen to the soundtrack of Dancing with Wolves next? No, that's I a good soundtrack. I'm sure that it is, it's but, a good but soundtrack. for me, for me, it's all about uh, 
the last Mohicans. No, 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 no. I mean, the, the, I, there's some, the, 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 the string stuff is good. Um, the string stuff is really good. Yeah. Um, um, it depends on the composer. Dario Marinelli. I mean, oh, wow. Yeah. Now that guy's good. Um, yeah. uh, Viva Vendetta. Uh, oh, oh. It's just every oh. time I hear the soundtrack to that, it's like the hair on the back of my neck just stands on end because it's the brass and the string together. That's just, you know, string is good on its own. Brass is good on its own. Think Conan the Barbarian, Conan the Destroyer. But when yeah. you put string and brass together, it's like... Oh. And you're an anarchist. And, and that an movie is... And, what? and that all... Well, V for Vendetta... Oh yeah, I, mean, I just I love it. Yeah, it's just an awesome. It's an awesome. So I good. did I I did that. I did that as a uh, I did that uh, the um the V C uh, I did the V scene at an open mic night once. Way way oh, yeah? way. Oh yeah, no, it was an open night mic uh, uh, festival. Um and I had it written down in front of me. <laughs> and I, I did awesome. it. I read the whole thing out at an open mic night back in 2012, I think. It's actually online somewhere. <laughs> And I'll you know what they the... say, once it's on the internet, you'll never get it off. That's right. That's right. Um, but I think we should get into the show. show. So uh, shall we go to a quick I'd, break so I'd we can too. set up? Yes. I, 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 I think so, too. And really quick, Sephiranis says, what about Fiddler on the Roof? Neil, catch my catch my, uh, catch my my toss to you. If I was a rich man. Hello friends, this is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and I approve this message, and am compensated for signups for this service. The world's largest audiobook library is at your fingertips, and the Escape Pod Castaways wants you to try it for free. Head on over to escapepodcastaways.com and click the Going Nerdy offer button to claim a free audiobook and two Audible Originals. Cancel any time, and it's absolutely free to sign up. Check out Audible and support the Escape Pod Castaways, all for free. See Audible website for details. Restrictions may apply. Are you a member of Team Paul or Team Neil? Maybe you prefer story time with the llama, or dabble in the buttery side of the force with Biscuit Weasel. Or maybe you like the Escape Pod talents from down under, like Heinze and Scotty. No matter who you support, you can get one of my designs from the Escape Podcast merch store. Just go to escapepodcastaways.com, click on the merch link, and it will take you to the T Public site where you can support me, Mrs. Anthony, also known as Critty K. Also be sure to check out the Mrs. Anthony Shirts channel on the Escape Podcasts Discord server weekly to vote for my latest shirts in the Design Derby on Woot. Links for both of these are down below. Thank you for supporting the Escape Podcast. And welcome back to the show where we talk about our geeky stuff. Um, who's going to go first today? Who wants to go first? Who, who wants to go first? Paul, oh, Nev. Who I'll go last. I'll go last. I'll go last. Bagsy I'll last go, before Dick of the Week. I'll go first. And that'll okay. give me time to like solidify my Dick of the Week. Okay. To get just oh, yeah. You, need, you still need a bit of time, don't you? Yeah. And and I want it to get I want to get like just the a rock solid dick of the week, something that is going to be very hard to beat. Um, yeah, because Paul's at Paul's at it two weeks on the trot now, and I'm I know not with that at all. So I've enlisted the help of my mum with this week's dick of the week. So I'm sure that it's a I'm sure that it's a <laughs> your mom helped your winner. mom helped you with your dick of the week. <laughs> my mum helped me pick dick of the week. Yeah, <laughs> she just, okay. just she just pulled it out. Yeah, just pulled it she out. Just whipped it, it out. There. All right. Now, <laughs> the the images that you gentlemen are seeing span across your screen are from a cartoon that I absolutely love. It's called Frisky Dingo. It is the precursor to Archer. Okay, so the guys who made Archer, um, they were actually making this. This didn't get renewed for a third season. Um, it was picked up. Archer was then picked up, I think, uh, a year later or something like that. So same guys, same concepts. Um, 
you actually have a, in later seasons of Archer, you have a lot of jokes from Frisky Dingo here um, or added into Archer. Now, what Frisky Dingo is, it is season one is all about a villain named Killface. He is the white <laughs> demon guy who kind of is just like, you'll see him here in a moment. Uh, he is trying to push the earth into the sun. And that's his job. But he has spent his trillions of dollars creating what's called the Annihilatrix. Uh, <laughs> okay. And, yeah, he spent trillions of dollars building the Annihilatrix that he doesn't have any money for marketing to tell people that they're, they're about to be pushed into the sun. Okay, it, it, it's, okay so I'm, I'm seeing this kill face guy, but I'm also seeing a penguin. Okay, and I'll explain I'll explain here because I need to explain season one before I talk about why you need to see season two. Okay. <laughs> so he so first off, it's all of like <laughs> season one. <laughs> so so g- gaming oh, embers. That was a doozy from gaming embers. What Flair says, Thad, every time you explain a TV show, it seems like you did a huge line of Coke. Yeah. Next time I'll have like some powdered sugar donuts on my nose. Um, okay. So here's the thing. Season one, season two, Kill Face gets put up against Awesome X. Awesome X is a Batman slash Tony Stark hybrid who didn't mature past the age of 13. Right? Parents are murdered. He's avenging his parents, but he also has like this robotic suit that helps him fight crime. Okay. Um, throughout the season, there's like a ton of shenanigans that go on. Awesome X is, you know, you know, there's back, there's a lot of back and forth that, that happens between these two and it's hilarious. Um, then. Then. At the end of season one, awesome, or Xander Cruz, a.k.a. Awesome X, has lost his billions, his $20 billion. He's broke. And he doesn't want to live on the... And Thaddeus has lost his audio. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to give him a second. Then. Just, just move your lips and I'll, I'll talk for you. And then, and then, and then this awesome chick in a white suit. <laughs> keep talking, Thaddeus. We can't hear you. I'm going to yeah, talk yeah. for you. Keep, 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 mov- keep moving keep your moving lips. moving your lips. Keep moving. Yeah. And then, and then they sit down and they have a cup of tea with the bad guy. And there's a guy with a tank top on that's a boy toy that's kind of like, a... now you stop talking again. I don't know what's happened to your audio. Thaddeus. Damn it, Thaddeus. No, still can't hear you. Oh, God, he's gone. Woo! <laughs> okay, and then there were two. All of a sudden, it become really big. All right, so we'll move on right now. Yeah. Um, I guess we'll flip over to mine. Yeah, we'll flip over to Paul's. And then we'll have him explain this penguin and why season one was uh, was even even better. Okay, yeah. so well, actually, two was hang on, than hang on. Two. Yeah. So, so we're 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 readmitting Thaddeus. Oh, we are. Right now. Please, please have your audio work, Thaddeus. Please, please work, please work, please work. Speak or fa- No. No. <laughs> so check check your uh yeah check the. Check the wiring. I'll start talking about mine here. Yeah. Real quick. Yeah, Paul's going to start talking about his. And then you just, in. While, you just while jump you... in when you get back. Yeah. So my uh, my choice to talk about this uh, um, <laughs> this week is Fallout 76. Fallout 76, when it originally came out, was... Come on, be honest. By... <laughs> What's that? Be honest. It, it was panned hard by a lot of critics. If I was a Mitch Ben. Oh there my God, go. he's back! There we go. Okay, Paul, Paul, no, you, you've 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 missed it now. Paul's in swing now. Okay, Paul, go ahead. <laughs> okay, we'll we'll jump back to uh, Awesome X and and his boy toy or whatever this. Kill was. face. Yes. Kill face. Um. 
So it took a lot of lumps. It had its problems. It did. But the problems got better. They fixed things. They stopped duplication glitches and things like that. Um, you know, doesn't didn't doesn't it depend on the platform? What well, some platforms were worse than others, weren't they? Some, some platforms some... had a lot less problems than other platforms. The servers themselves were have were affected. All the servers were affected by some of the issues. Right, because I, right. I, I I heard that it was fine on PlayStation, but an absolute shit show on PC. That's so I heard, that, so- I heard that it was, put, you know, it was fine and, and there weren't any issues for PlayStation and the Xbox, but the PC version was just a nightmare, completely that's just broken. What, that's just what a big gaming console wants you to believe. Yeah. <laughs> that's what, so Microsoft and Sony were just... just on, on PC, yeah. because of, of uh, you know, the open sourceness, if you will, of PC, um, it was a little bit more difficult there were a lot more exploits that people were taking advantage of on the pc version rather than the console version but when it uh when they started fixing things it got better and better and better they started doing weekly uh weekly events they started uh doing a lot of um different styles they they have a Fortnite type of game uh, they, they put a Fortnite type of game called Nuclear Winter into Fallout 76, and on top of that, <laughs> you still got Fallout 76, which I really, really do enjoy the story. A lot of people said, oh, there's no story. There is. You just have to read the story that instead of having it being told to you. I wasn't do that enjoy that of, type of Wasn't thing. that one of the, um, I'm sure that was one of the complaints, the lack of NPCs at the beginning when the game was first released. There was a, a lack of NPCs, you know, because like, like when um, Red Dead Redemption 2 came out, the, you know, NPCs all over, loads of interaction with NPCs. But with Fallout 76, there was, you know, apparently you could like walk for miles and miles and miles in the game and never come across an NPC. Um, and obviously, NPCs are kind of important for those in-game request, in-game quests during the story phase of the game. Thought so, if it's if it's a game about Fallout being a nuclear Fallout, wouldn't there wouldn't you have to go a long way to interact with <laughs> another person? I mean that that seems like they're committing to the concept of it. Less That's than exactly a- what they were doing, Thad. And the fact that you and the other players were the first people out of the vault. You were the first people to ever leave any sort of vault. Yeah. And everyone that did survive the nuclear bomb was then infected by a plague called the scorched plague that turned them into essentially that there's the feral ghouls, but then there's there's a essentially a group of of living beings that could still use guns, just like the super mutants that have gone out of their mind. There was a group of human style NPCs that you know they could shoot you from a good yard away. So, um, uh, Run DMV's asking, Paul, what is the general storyline for Fallout 76 then? Because I the don't if, if there story- is a story, what is the general storyline? The general storyline is the Overseer was the first person out of the vault. And then she went to go scout out, you know, how to make it, how to make a living, breathing world. Is <laughs> we will get to that, Severanus, um, to scout out a, a living world and see what came of the world after the bombs dropped. And the over and if you follow along, you find the responders that tried to rebuild right after the right after the bombs fell. You find the Brotherhood of Steel fighting the Scorch that were that were attacking you. You go into the ash heap. You see what 
researchers found when they were trying to recover from all of this. And essentially it was the only thing that could stop any of the scorched from, uh, um, from getting any stronger was using your own nuclear missile right on top of their base. And that's why on the images there's loads of nuclear codes. Are those real nuclear codes? Can people use those in a game? Those are actually the nuclear codes. What I do, like uh, in in the one that uh, I see on my monitor right now, you have to put in an eight-digit code after you infiltrate Alpha, Bravo, or Charlie. And every week, it changes in the game. Really? And so I change the codes on the wall of my fort every single week so people can come in, look at my wall, and go, okay, that's the code. I figure out the codes or I or or they're socially engineered by the people on uh, Discord. And they get to, you know, get the code yeah. and go launch a nuke. I just hope That's they cool. don't nuke my camp. Hmm. It's so happened are these before. All, so are these all screen caps from you playing, or yes. are, are they um, uh, like memes that you've just uh, seventy six uh, Fallout seventy six memes that you've downloaded off the net? They're, they're all images that you created from your game. Every single one of my uh, every single one of the screenshots that you see in this is from my game mm -hmm. either using photo mode or just taking a screenshot while i'm playing okay what even yeah, the ones cool. that look like billboards even the ones that look like billboards that's been that's um using the photo mode like the one that uh where i'm playing the tuba in the radiation suit mm -hmm. <laughs> inside a nuclear mm -hmm. fallout zone yeah <laughs> Um, my, I, I'm waiting for my favorite one to come up. Which, which it's, one? Um, it's the I'll, 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 I'll let you know when I'll let you know when my favorite. I'll let you, I must let you know when my favorite one comes up. I okay, mean, well, I won't me, see which one. Exa one yeah, exactly no, it will did. because they are on. There's only a three second delay, so what I'm looking at there and there matches. Okay, for a very short. The one I see time. right now is the first death, um, uh, death claw that I ever killed. No. That's a it's, big one. Did you get it? It's not showing my favorite one. You you sent a bunch. There of are them. fifteen oh. of them. I'm yeah, sorry, I know, but I can't. <laughs> it, it, it's not showing me all fifteen. Why is it not showing me all fifteen? I want to see I, the Stephen Crowder one. Oh, I, that, I saw it. I saw it there. Did you? Was the Stephen Crowder one in there? I loved. I I thought that was funny. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> employees all, must. Uh, employees <laughs> must wash their hands before going back to work. Change my change mind. my mind. <laughs> yes, there is. There is. That's my favorite. Yeah, that is my favorite one. <laughs> I, I like thought you'd one. enjoy that like one. one. Yeah, no, I mean, and I, I run around. I, you know, you can you you can use you earn atoms inside the game um, just for playing the game and then you can use those to buy cosmetic things now of course you can spend money to get atoms but you can earn these cosmetic things like the vault boy head that i have mm -hmm. just by playing the game okay and i love my vault boy i mean i love vault boy <laughs> So but, okay, so, so one of the reasons I wanted to talk about it is that they've released new free content called Wastelanders. And it brought back the old Fallout feel where there are NPCs to interact with. And they're all instanced. The game is still an MMO, but your reputation is instanced. You walk into a place with, um, you, let's say that your friend is friendly with the Raiders. And you're in his instance. The Raiders are going to be friendly to you. But the instant that, you know, you're no longer on your friend's team, if you've pissed off the Raiders, you're going to get shot from 15 different directions if you're sitting in the Raider camp. <laughs> and you can't just blow them up with a nuke. You actually can. 
There's like, you if, actually you shoot, can. if you shoot me, I'm going to blow us up. So uh, don't shoot me if you don't want to get nuked. What <laughs> happens if you do blow up or launch a nuke? Like, what if, you, so so I, I play, I play, you guys have seen me play uh, Fortnite, right? I throw grenades and uh, same thing with Battlefield, Battlefront 2. I throw grenades right at my own feet on many times on accident, but I kill myself. What happens if you do that with a nuke? <laughs> can you come well, back? Do you get mutated? You can you can launch a nuke and run into the uh, blast zone that you've targeted. It it takes time to launch the nuke. Once so it's you get not into, an instant nuke. It's not instant nuke. It's a silo, and it, you got about three minutes. You got about three minutes from the time that it gets uh, that you tell it where to be shot at and put in the code. You have three minutes to essentially evacuate the area or run into the area if you're like Thaddeus. Yeah. Um, to, I'd, to, I'd run into it as well. I would too. Just for, yeah, funsies, so... just for funsies. Just to see if I get respawned as a mutant. Like, you know. Yeah. And that's 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 my thing. I'm a little disappointed in this game doesn't have suitcase nukes. You can't just like carry it around with you, like handcuffed in it to a briefcase to your arm. You can carry a mini nuke with you, really, and launch it via a trebuchet through a uh, portable trebuchet what? that you put on your shoulder. It's called a fat man. <laughs> <laughs> Wardy's in the house. What's up, Wardy? <laughs> Love seeing Captain Ward. The Aussies have joined. The Aussies are here. Oh no! Oh no! The Aussies are what? here. Wardy and I both in Lego Legacy Heroes Unboxed. Wardy and I both um, got seven star Red Benny. By the way, Neil. Oh, I got my seven star Red Benny the same day Wardy did. You you guys can kick me from the guild any day you want now because I'm probably not coming back. <laughs> just just look just look for some just look for just look for an account that's got like a level thirty two something. And just get rid of me because I'm just dead weight. I really, really am. I'm dead weight, and um, got some so, other other but, other important things to do. The game the game is being covered by the channel because you know Llama loves Lego a lot more than I love Lego. Yeah, I actually think that Llama loves Lego more than Paul. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm being deadly serious now. The Llama loves Lego more than Paul. Which I... I didn't think was possible. I did not think it was possible, but that's the case. I feel like they need to have a Lego off. A Lego off? Yeah. They I don't know how that off. I think their their love needs to be tested. I, I think I think Lego. they need to be quizzed on their love of, of that. Yeah. You know what? Paul Paul has Paul has pit pitted me on previous occasions against other Star Wars fans, you know, in, in you know a battle of uh, Star Wars brains, which of course I've won. Uh, I mean, it goes without saying that I won, but I think that we should get Llama on next week and have it's a Lego a off. I yeah. think that we should get the Llama on next week and we need to have a Lego off be between Paul and the Llama and see who loves Lego more than Paul. Or, yeah, I, it's got to yeah. be done. we got to do it. I'm sorry, but it's <laughs> such a nerdy thing to do. We've got to have Who's... a nerd. We have to have, uh, you know, I mean, um, you know, sorry for, uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry to be taking the idea, but I think we should have a nerd war, Paul and Llama, who loves Lego more? No, 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 no. Here's, here's what it's called. Ultimate Afhole. Ultimate what? Afhole, right? Isn't that what it's a -F -O -L. called? A-F-O-L. 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 I like I, I, I like yeah. Run DMVs, nerd off. It's a nerd off. <laughs> like a walk off. I, I like the ultimate affle. I like I like I like the geek war. The I like, a geek I like war geek. to settle who's the ultimate yeah. affle. Yeah. Yes. A, a geek war to settle who it, yes. There definitely. you go. There you go. And yeah. the okay, winner will it. receive the title of ultimate affle. So Thad, Thad and me will we'll get our heads together and we'll come up with some Lego questions, questions that only you two will know. And we'll do a best, you know, no, we won't do a best of 10. We'll do a first to 10. There you go. We'll do there a you first go. to I 10. Like first to three, you can get lucky on first to five. Not yeah. To, not to three. three. 
Uh, now to not, three. Not good That's... First, it's going to be first to ten because a first to ten also gives one person the opportunity to completely leap ahead of everybody else. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. Yes. Nerd wars. Nerd wars. Nerd wars. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Right. Um. Let's. All right. Okay. So anyway, the the so, main yes. thing is if you play this on Xbox. If you're watching this either here on Twitch or over on Going Nerdy's channel, if you play 76 on Xbox, my gamer tag is Stormin Mormon V2. That's Stormin without the G, no storming. Stormin Mormon V2. That's an I N. Storm in Mormon V2 on Xbox. I would not mind sitting down and playing 76. Thank you, Wardy, for the 100 bits. Thank you, Wardy. back to you, Thad. Back to okay. me. Back to Thad. Okay. Okay. So, season one ends with uh, Xander Cruz, again, a.k.a. Awesome X, pushing the button to turn on the Annihilatrix. And that's what happens. The Annihilatrix fires up, and it heads towards the sun. Or so we think. Start of season two, which is entirely why I bring this up. We find out that the Annihilatrix, when it was launched, it was launched in a way that the Earth was facing, that it, the Annihilatrix, was facing away from the sun, pushing the Earth out of orbit by three feet, curing global warming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So instead of destroying the Earth, he saves the Earth. He saves the Earth. Okay, now here's the thing. So, so he, the, the thing that you need to know about this show, it is a mockumentary. It's, it follows the mockumentary style um, of, of show, show creation. So there's a sides, there's little moments, there's people talking. And season two is, is all that. Because season two follows... What, what's, what's this Alex Jones looking guy? This is oh, oh what's his name? Uh this is I forget his name, but he is he is a a newscaster who who has Xander Cruz or Xander Cruz's former girlfriend who's pregnant with a radioactive ant baby who we actually do see later on in the season. And who's named Cody Two? Okay? okay. So, what you need to know about this, and the reason I bring this up, is because the one thing that unites us. Let's let's face it. We may dis <laughs> we may disagree on on which video games we like. We may disagree on like music, but one thing we can all agree on: politics. Right? That's an that's an easy thing for all of us to come together. No. I know. I know. I'm I'm sarcastic. Clearly. Um. So, Killface, after, pu after Killface pushes the Earth away from the sun, the Democratic National Com Committee reach out to him and say, we want you to run for president of the United States. <laughs> right? And what's he running on? He's running on the fact that he cured global warming. Right? Well, here's the thing. Xander Cruz is you know so episode one is all about like you know inter introducing kill face to uh you know like all of his his like team and everything right so you've got this awesome carl rove style woman um and you have the penguin and the penguin was a baby penguin stuck on melting ice caps floating out to sea his name is baby lamont right uh baby lamont is was saved because killface cured global warming right but killface is like a very obtuse so imagine imagine all and, and again i'm not trying to like as much as I, i'm bringing up a very political thing um, imagine any gaffe that um joe biden has made recently uh, and, <laughs> yeah, he made a classic the other day, and and we won't mention it though. No, no we won't. We won't. It. We won't. We but, won't mention it because we're not talking but, politics. The politics. But ima 
imagine that to like a 10, like to a factor of 10, and that's kill face. That's how obtuse kill face is. And so he doesn't realize his base, right? And so it's really funny. There's a there's a there's a um an episode where he finds Jesus, hmm. and by finding Jesus and skimming through the Bible, um <laughs> He alienates, like he goes through and there's a a montage where he alienates his entire base. And it's hilarious. If you're when they ask him when when they ask him what his favorite book of the Bible is, it's two, it's uh it's two Corinthians, right? Two Corinthians, yes. Okay. Um two Corinthians. But but like it's it's hilarious. But because he's so out of touch, they they hire on as a VP this rapper who is as obtuse in his own right, <laughs> named Taquil, right? And Taquil is, I, it's just hilarious. And I, I watch this every time there is a, na- a, a national election going on, right? Um, because like you, it's, let's face it guys, politics suck, right? Yeah. And if we can agree if, on that, definitely. We can, I mean, no matter who you are, there's someone you hate. Someone's going to offend you and everything. It just sucks, right? I mean, it's kind of you like suck. a necessary evil, <laughs> um, depending on. But, but like, it's hilarious because eventually, so you've got, uh, you've got uh, Killface running for the DNC, and then you have to have a Republican running. And so who's going to run? Xander Cruz, right? Oh, t- <laughs> Oh and God. Xander Cruz is an immature man child, right? And like he spends the first half of the season trying to find a running mate. And he tries to find TV's Hunter, right? So if you remember the, like the 1970s or 1980s show Hunter, um, he goes through and like it's his. like the the picture here that i'm looking at is xander cruz in front of a thing that says education um and it's like what's the plan for education get all teachers bigger boobs right um (laughs) coming up next week thaddeus discovers rick and morty oh my gosh i love rick and morty no but like it's it's just a really fun show and it points out a lot of the hypocrisy and it's stupid each each individual episode is only 11 minutes long and like you can binge the whole season in two and a half hours okay season one so awesome x doesn't fight alone he fights with his fighting force called the exticles <laughs> where, where do we find this you know you what said adult about, swim. What, just let us know where? what, plat- what, what platform we're on adultswim.com Adult you can swim. watch the whole the whole both seasons you can watch it for free um i i checked the other day and because i wanted to make sure that you could like it is hilarious guys this is hands down one it, it, like give it give it like two episodes now i will say if you are easily offended this is clear I mean, this is not the show for you i don't think anyone who um anybody who's watching, still watching right now yeah, anyone probably, who's still watching, like, yeah anyone who's watching now is probably is not, still watching that's uh <laughs> we've lost two viewers that's all yeah. oh okay well that happens when i live stream i i lose a lot um <laughs> so if you go if you go to the adult swim um you can watch you can watch all of them seasons one through 13 um or seasons one and two, episodes one through twelve. Um, it is it is absolutely hilarious. Um, they make a lot of fun of it, it is dated. It hasn't aged super well um, necessarily, but it is it's awesome. It okay. is hilarious. So, all right, okay, you're gonna take do, us to a break pool. Do it. <laughs> Okay, sure. I'll take us to a break. And coming up after this, after this break, my turn. It is Neil's turn. And then we whip out our dick of the week. (laughs) 
did you know that if you signed up to become a Patreon, you could get tons of rewards? Force Go Scotty could do a roster review for you. Neil Andrew Air could share Grand Arena tactics. Or Paul could even help you get maximum stars in Geonosis Territory Battle. Ah, and you even get access into the after show. Sound good? Sign up to be a Patreon today. For as little as $2 a month, you could unlock a ton of potential content and also get closer to the hosts. Head to patreon.com backslash the escape pod to sign up. Hey there, escape Padawans. Everyone's favorite llama here to remind you that the escape pod cast is on social media. That's right. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. So give us a like, give us a follow, and stay up to date on all things in-game and in the escape pod. Our account links are down in the description or on our Discord server in the show links channel. See you on the net! Welcome back everybody, and what you see in front of you was the Best news I heard all week. All week. Oh. Because I am a big, big, big DC fan. Batman, Lobo, I love the stuff. That's what I started me off in comic books. And for three years as a fan, we have been begging for them to release the Snyder Cut. It's finally getting released. It is finally getting released. DC has just... It's up and down. It's up and down. It's not Marvel. As much as they've tried to be Marvel, Marvel is bright colors and laughing and jokes. And that's that's Marvel. That's what Marvel is. Um, when, when they released The Man of Steel, it was dark. It was gritty. It wasn't supposed to be funny. It wasn't supposed to be humorous. It was supposed to be dark and gritty. It's one of the reasons why I liked Man of Steel. I thought Man of Steel was brilliant i really really do a, a lot better than that superman returns crap that they tried to bring you know try to bung us during the early noughties that that was just like horrendous so yeah they they hit the hit they really really hit the nail the, uh, the 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 nail on the head with the uh, man of steel again wonder woman awesome brilliant uh, they didn't do a flash and then disaster they gave us Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice. Without a doubt, the worst thing. We're all like, oh no, what have they done? What have they done? They've destroyed, they've killed the franchise before it's even got off the ground. Because this was supposed to be the movie before the Justice League. And then Zack Snyder comes in to do the Justice League and he was going to do it as a two-parter. And we're all like, please, 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 please save the franchise because it needed saving because batman versus superman really was awful the color was off the story was off i mean it, you've got wonder woman in there doomsday looked like just ugh. that jesse eisenberg in there as lex luther i mean oh my god who the hell cast him to do that i have no idea but i'll give you a little bit of backstory because obviously it's kind of important that you hear the full context so Zack Snyder's Justice League, originally known unofficially as the Snyder Cut by us fans, uh, is the alternate vision of the 2017 film Justice League with material only directed by Zack Snyder, accompanied by a script from the one and only Chris Terrio. Remember that name, Star Wars fans? Yeah. The completed project will premiere on HBO Max next year. So... Yes, it's going to be a six-parter. There's going to be some new stuff in there. Really, really, really looking forward to it. Fans believe... So this is the Batman Lorian. Batman what, sorry? It's the Batman Lorian. Batman Lorian. This is, yes. It, well, no, the Super Superman... Super Lorian, because it's got Superman and Batman and... You know, I mean, the, yeah. The Cryptolorian, then. The Cryptolorian, yes. Basically, this is... This right. is the, you know, the, I'm this lost. Is H, HBO have... The, they're taking the cut. They do, they're doing some new stuff with it. They are breaking the Snyder Cut down into six parts. This is what HBO thinks that they can make this their Mandalorian. Because this is one of the things that's got me excited as a DC fan. Because if it blows up like the Mandalorian does, 
they can serialize it. You know, so instead of worrying about how long it's going to take for the next movie, they can just turn the damn thing into a TV series and stick with the one-off movie. So we get our Wonder Woman 1984, which looks all right. It's not brilliant. Uh, I mean, Shazam was awesome. Really, really liked Shazam. for okay. that was great. I, I, I did like... I did like Shazam. Where does um, where does Suicide Squad and Birds of Prey all fit into all of this? Crap. It it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't. It's it's in the same. It's in it's in the DCEU, um, but it's it doesn't cross over. It's a bit like um, um, it's a bit like the MCU not crossing, not really crossing over with the Marvel television series that we saw on Netflix. They exist in the okay. same universe, but they don't really mention each other. What? <laughs> Run DMV says Shazam was awesome. Shaq is amazing in it. Shaq is amazing in it. Shaq Shut is up. amazing in it. Don't. Just just don't. Shazam was a good movie. Shazam was a good movie. It got the right element of comedy and the right amount of drama in it, and I liked it. Okay, so that was, suck it. That was Kazam, not Shazam. Yes. Just Dif- saying. Different, different. You yes, Arcane Druids, it's universe adjacent. So okay. um Birds of Prey. Um so that, so it's, it's not how, called Birds of Prey, are we it's going called to... Harley Quinn and Birds of Prey. They are we changed ever the going... title after it, the movie failed. <laughs> <laughs> are we ever going to see Batfleck versus Joker Leto? Well, mm, that's the thing. We um we don't know. We're not gonna know until we we're not going to know until we see how successful the Snyder cut is on HBO max. If, um, if the Snyder cut, if, sorry, refer, keep calling it. It's not, it's now Jack Snyder's justice league. So if Jack Snyder's justice league is successful, if the six part in 2021 is huge and successful, and I think it will be because the fans that have been begging for this, for the last three years are going to support it en masse, just like the fans uh, for Sonic the Hedgehog that whinged and moaned and complained about the trailer being complete and utter crap, said, change it or we ain't going to watch it. So they changed it and we were like, brilliant, we'll go watch it. That's what's going to happen with this. So hopefully All right. that's what happens. They change it, they do a six-parter and it's brilliant. And then all oh, HBO Max says... Here's two hundred million dollars. Make us a Justice League season two in six parts. That which would just be awesome. So yeah. So, so Please. tell tell me this, Neil. Yeah. Are you are you supportive of Joker Leto? No, I didn't like. Okay, good. I didn't like. I didn't like. Uh, I didn't like uh, uh, Jared Leto's uh, Joker. Didn't like it at all. I was gonna have to leave the show. If you said yes, no, didn't like it. It was terrible. It was awful. It, it's it's everybody's got their favorite Batman. Everyone's got their favorite Joker. People also have their favorite Batman. Sorry, their worst Batman and their worst Joker. Leo was the worst Joker. Yeah, he was hands down the worst Joker. A bit like to me, Val Kilmer was the worst Batman. Really? Yeah, damn right. Not George Clooney. Not no. Clooney. George Clooney. No, you see the thing. The thing with the bat. The thing with Batman is whoever gets cast has to be able to do Bruce Wayne and Batman. Val Kilmer couldn't do Bruce Wayne. I, Harvey, I'm Batman. I'm like, what? Excuse me. You, you, you can't even convince me you're Bruce Wayne. How the hell are you going to convince Two Face that you're bloody Batman? You know that movie you, was okay, horrendous. Holy rusted see? metal, Batman. Oh my God. Okay, but that was a different time and era. You can't. Yes, I know. I, I look. I totally. I mean, I'm just, look. I t- I do. I sympathise with Joel Schumacher. I do. I totally sympathise with Joel Schumacher. Tim uh, Tim Burton destroyed the Batman franchise before it even began with his abomination Batman, and then Batman Returns. All right. Tim Burton screwed up the Batman franchise before it even got off the ground. Joel yeah. Schumacher thought that he could totally take the piss out of it and make and it just it didn't wash with me. I'm a D. I'm a yeah. you know I'm a hardcore Batman fan. You know I have a pile of graphic novels and comics 
every story you could possibly think of. Batman, you know, the, the, the Arkham Asylum stuff, Legends of the Dark Knight. I ate that stuff up, you know? Um, yeah. and, and to see that abomination on the screen was just, <laughs> oh, yeah, wasn't good. Okay. Okay. Right, so, so, Neil, I just sent you a picture of the worst Joker ever. Okay. I'm, so, but the I'm best looking. Harley Quinn. So as you're looking at this, as you're, as you're, I saw a meme the other day or a, a thing going through my, my bat nipples. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's the worst Joker ever, is it? That's the, but the best Harley Quinn. So that, that's a good Harley Quinn. Yeah. Terrible Joker, but cracking who, who Harley we talking Quinn. About? Who are we talking about? Paul's Paul sent me a, a, a photo of um, him and um, Critty K dressed up as oh. um, the Joker and Harley Quinn. Which one's the Joker? Please tell me Paul's <laughs> Harley Quinn. You can put Quinn. it on the screen. You can put it on the okay, screen. Hang on. Okay, let's see. Please tell me Paul is dressed up as Harley, Harley Quinn. I can't. No. Um, at the moment, I, no, no, no. He's, he, oh, come on. No, he, of course he isn't. I've just got to open Discord. So, um, all right because uh, gaming so I, embers told me okay well while, while i'm doing this shall we do uh shall we do dick of the week are we, hold, on, uh, hold on hold on hold on oh, no, that is had something he wanted to say oh, right, okay. I, I, I saw this image going through my my uh my facebook feed on one of the groups that i'm on um and it showed a picture of michael keaton and said you're gonna be most of you are too young to know this but michael keaton needs to play bruce wayne currently in batman beyond and I was I was thinking of that. Like, can you imagine Michael Keaton, the the first Batman after Adam West, right? Um, the first good one after Adam West, and playing a Batman Beyond style. Like, could I? I think that would be awesome. I would. I think that would be so cool to see that added to. I don't know, a DC streaming service or just a straight to, I, I don't know. I just, I saw that and I was like, that is the coolest thing ever. Yeah. No, That's no, the I mean, Batman that the, I want. The thing is that the Batman, the Batman that they're, that the Batman that they're now bringing back is, um, I, I like what they're doing. They're, they're using, obviously, you know, they've cast Robert, pa Robert Patterson, but they're, they are, I mean, they could go all the way back to year one, but there's a comic series and a graphic novel series called Batman year one. Yeah, they then that was successful, so they did Batman Year Two. It's Year Two that they're making the movie out of, so they're taking okay. Year Two, and that's what they're pulling to pieces. That's what they're going to make the new Batman movie from. So uh, let me. So just... still early on. Okay. Yeah, it's still I... early on. So Paul wants me. Paul wants to. See, Paul wants everybody to see you. For, you to see him as dressed up as the Joker. So I'm going to add this image. I'm going to bring this image up. Um, oh, God. Where did I just save it? I just I just saved it in here. I save it as Joker Paul. I could swear. L-M-A-H-I-J-H-I-J. This was four, J. This was yes, four years Paul. ago. This was four years ago. And we'll shrink it down so that we can fit it on the screen. There we go. There we go. <laughs> With the actual gun used by the Jack Nicholson Joker in yes in in I Tim, like Bur it. Tim Burton's abominable D Jack Nicholson saved that movie. If it wasn't Jack yeah. Nicholson, it it would have been awful. And Michael Keaton was a good Batman because he was a good, but yeah, I just mm. yeah, it, it never <laughs> sat. It just never sat with me. It, it, you know, it just it didn't. It never sat with me properly. Um, like I said, I, I'm, 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 I'm like DC. I like DC. I like Marvel. I like Dark, Dark Horse. I'm a comic book nerd for all of that 90s and early naughty stuff. And comics just aren't what they used to be anymore. I wish they were, yeah. but they're just not. Which kind of sucks. But uh, so, um, are we doing it? Are we doing it? Are we doing it? I'm, I'm doing it. Let's, let's, do, let's do it. Let's do Dick of the Week. Who's okay. ready? You starting us off. 
Ladies we, and we gentlemen, kinda a, we, we kind of need like a uh, like a bah, 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 dick of the week. Yeah, we dick of the week. Any, if anybody would like to do a dick of the week intro for us, <laughs> please feel free. So uh, we've got we've got we've got our um we've got our friendly mobs who are going to put up <laughs> a poll for dick of the week. So so Pirate right, Alley. Since, oh no, since I'm the reigning champion. So Paul yeah, is the current will... reigning champion. He has he has one dick of the week. Twice, two or two times, two times on the week. Thaddeus and I That's have what she yet said. to put somebody on. So, Paul, as the reigning champion, you get to put your nomination forwards first. So, so I, I, I get to put my dick of the week on the table first. Yep. Yes. Gets to put his dick of the week Pull on the out. table first. All right. So for for my dick of the week this week, it's Reddit. You heard me. Reddit. <laughs> and for this reason, Reddit has become nothing but a bunch of Karens constantly complaining about everything and anything and putting themselves inside of an echo chamber. And it's also affecting people's lives. Just this past week, um, we lost a uh, we lost a very, very uh, talented young wrestler. Um, and because she was Hana Kimura, it she could not handle all the criticism coming her way, and she was freaking super, super talented because of toxic fans because of people that just couldn't keep their own damn negative opinions to themselves and not try to cause mental anguish to other people. Reddit, you are to blame for Hannah Kimura's death. Twitter, you are to blame for Hannah Kimura's death. But I see this much more on, on Reddit than I do Twitter. You need to stop. You need to look at yourself. You are a dick, and congratulations, you're my dick of the week. Okay, that's Paul's nomination for dick of the week. Thaddeus, what is your nomination for dick of the week? It's not nearly as good as Paul's, but I'm going to say we all love streaming. Streaming is amazing. It's gotten us through these last couple of months. Um, the person who let... NBC name their streaming service Peacock. <laughs> it's my dick of the week. Why? What what couldn't didn't you see the inappropriateness coming? <laughs> that's my dick of the week. Okay, that's that's that is it's, okay. So my dick of my nomination for dick of the week is people who post on social media that do not use autocorrect or spell checks. And the reason for this is quite simple. Sometimes people can make really, really good arguments and really, really valid points. But because there are assholes on social media and grammar Nazis, <clears throat> they will try to completely invalidate a good point or a good argument because you spelt your, your instead of your or they, they instead of they. So it, it just it boggles my mind how someone can make a wonderfully articulate point or a really 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 good argument but they're too stupid they are a dick because they didn't think to use an autocorrect or uh or, or, or a spell check and and it's like oh my god are you, you're just asking the grammar nazis to start saying you spelt that wrong you're just asking for the karens to come as soon as i see a spelling mistake i'm like oh that's a really good point i'm thinking to myself oh god you spelt your wrong. What happens? Next comment comes up. Oh, you spelt your wrong. It's like, oh, oh, really? That's supposed to completely invalid. But that's then all. And then what happens immediately after the grammar Nazi comes out? Someone comes under that doesn't invalidate the point. And it all becomes an argument between the two people arguing over whether the spelling correct is valid or invalid. And everybody goes off the point. So my nomination for Dick of the Week are idiots that do not use 
the autocorrect or spell check when making social media posts. There we go. There's our three nominations for Dick of the Week. All right. So I'm going to start a poll. The Dick of the Week award goes <laughs> to Reddit Bullies, Peacock Ad Execs, or Autocorrect <laughs> Geniuses. You have 10 <laughs> minutes. Why do I feel I'm like I'm going to lose again? Because you are probably. I know. I know. I'm going to. You've got to put more thought in it. Look, just, you know, when you're I'm, reading something, when you're watching something, you could be out and about. You could be take, taking the dog for a walk. You could be going for a ride or, you know, I. you just got to see something and go, you know what? That's a real dickish thing to do. And it's like big light bulb. Oh, they're going to be my nomination for Dick of the Week. I'm going to create a list of Dick of the Week people. I So here's the thing. I said this to Ned before. I was like, I just, I don't get angry. I don't it's not get... about getting angry, though. It's not. It's 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 about seeing injustice, right? And, 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 and calling that injustice for what it but, is, a dick. But Nev, I am a white male. In my middle ages, I'm the most privileged person ever. <laughs> I don't, I don't see those things. You don't see those things. I don't. Oh, and I'm heterosexual and married and a homeowner. I own land. Even in, even if this were like back in the 1700s, like I'm a landowner. I get to vote, you know? Yeah, but your wife doesn't. <laughs> I'm not sorry. Um, <laughs> I feel like I'd be the dick of the week if I shared that story. Um, yeah. this, this is coming from the guy who, when we, the, the, this is coming from the guy who, when we first started talking about what are you going to nominate the dick of the week, and you said my kids. That's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. No, you guys said I my suggested, kids. I, I was like because you were because at this before we started the show, you were like, oh, I haven't got anything for the dick of the week, and I'm like, you've got yeah. an hour to come up with something. Yeah, my first thing was my fence. Dude, you've got a week to come up with a nomination for I know. Dick of the week. I, I know. had my nomination for Dick of the Week before we'd even before I'd even gone to bed last Tuesday night. It's like, right, I I need to come up with something good All right. to beat Paul. I had to. Because he ran away with it the first week. He ran away with it the second week. And it's like, come on, well, right buddy. Now, right now, right you're now, running I away am with running it. away with it. Yeah, yeah, you, we, yeah. We, we have, we have set about six minutes left. And for those who want to support a certain uh, any certain person, you can pay 25 bits to vote again. I'm just going to say that. You can you vote get 25 one vote, bits again. You pay 25 bits to vote again. Right now, you could throw Thaddeus winning a seven to so, seven to one to one. I, I I will say other nominations that I had were too specific. Like Net uh, Run DMV is suggest he's like this is coming from the regifter of the regift, right? And and true, but I can't just be like, who's the dick of the week? This guy, right? Because that's too specific. I mean, I could tell a story that is pretty hilarious. Um, Hey, maybe, is... maybe we could maybe we uh oh my god rsg, RSG is quick rsg yeah. rsg okay rsg that for the people from for the people from rsg rating we are currently doing our end of show thing the three of us have each nominated what we like to think of as dick of the week and you've just joined so you can vote yes look at the, I, look at the poll my, my choice is reddit bullies the people that caused the death of um of Hannah Tamora, those that uh, socially bully people um, through Reddit, through Twitter, and things like that. So, Thaddeus, tell, Ed, tell, tell RSG what yours is. Mine is the people who let the ad execs who let the NBC streaming service be called Peacock. And my nomination is for um, idiots that don't bother using autocorrect or spell check when they make posts on social media, especially if they make good posts, because a good post then gets completely and utterly buried by grammar Nazis and people arguing over spelling. So you can go into the poll. You've got time while um, while the poll is still running and uh, and, and vote for me because I'm winning. <laughs> you are winning. Um, you are currently winning nine to one to one. Can I vote for myself? 
You can you vote can, for you yourself. Vote. Oh, oh my what? God! You just you just did a Paul Rudd for Parks and Recreation. I don't. I didn't know can, I could I didn't, vote. I don't think you can vote for yourself, Leslie. I think that's illegal. Like, have you not? You've not I watched Parks and Recreation. No. Well, of course I've watched Parks and Recreation. What am I? A Nazi? Of course I've watched oh, Parks and God, Recreation. Of course you can vote for yourself. How, do, I mean, how have you, have you, are you, are you only, are I didn't you vote for now? myself last time Are you time only either. telling us now that you've never voted for yourself? Yeah. Oh. I, I felt I, like I, it was I, wrong. I was, I was actually going to suggest, I was actually going to suggest this week, if Paul ran away with it, with, away, away with it for a third week on the trot, I was actually going to say, I, I think that we should bring in, I think we should bring in a Patreon nomination. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should bring in a Patreon nomination. So, our Patreons would nominate the a Dick of the Week, and then the three of us would nominate theirs to go up against our Dick of the Week. But you oh. know, Paul's not running away with it this week, so we don't. So it's like do a yeah, it's like a a Dick contest. Nev wants to be the biggest Dick. Of, no, no, I want my nomination for Dick of the Week to be the biggest Dick of the Week, which makes sense. Right, makes more sense. You know, I don't want to be the biggest Dick of the Week. We yeah, of course. and you can and you can vote with bits. You got about four minutes That's left. True. Twenty-five now, bits gets you a subscriber. Yes, yes. Yeah, I. But I again, like I like I said before, like if if we were doing specifics, I would have won. No, you wouldn't, because we're not going to be nasty. We're not talking well, about. I know. Not... I know. We're we're quickly running out of time on the uh, on the dick of the week voting. Uh, last uh, last call on that. Thad, what do you have coming up on your channel? Uh, I am going to do my best to stream my an event where I will be playing PvP in a Star in, Wars themed video game. In in a uh, what you're, you're would allowed, you you're allowed it. to pimp Don't do it. Sci- he is Don't allowed to pimp it. that in, in a science fiction video game that is also on mobile that takes place. <laughs> In the stars and features war type activities. <laughs> you're allowed. You're allowed to talk about it in the upcoming things that you have coming up on the channel. For I am going up against someone. I don't have General Skywalker or any of the GLs, and I'm going up against someone who has both a General Skywalker and uh, Ray. <laughs> I'm going to be host. Thank so. you, Run DMV. <laughs> Run DMV with the subscribe. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Run. Um, and then, oh, I got to put out my next uh, books worth binging. All right. So yeah, I'll be I'll be uploading this eventually to your <laughs> channel for you to cut out the very end, download yes. and then re-upload. <laughs> Yes. I forgot to throw up tangent alert. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. So coming uh, for uh, coming up on this channel, Neil Andrew Air will have his GAC on <laughs> Thursday, Saturday, and uh, Monday. Monday. No. Yeah, mm-hmm. Thursday, Saturday, and Monday. But as much as I can on Wednesday, on Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Mm-hmm. I will be joining the GAC chain gang. Yeah. Oh. So I will be personally doing my own. Uh, um, I I kind of told uh, Biscuit I, I want to do say, it myself. I was about to say, is Biscuit is Biscuit upset? You know, is Biscuit is Biscuit he's he's not, not upset. He's a little bit he, upset. He's is he proud of how I did all by myself? Ooh. So he wants to see Aww. if I could possibly wants, do it. He wants to see if you can by... do an entire phase by yourself. I'm gonna do it. Ooh, I'm gonna yeah. try. Okay. He's he's growing up. Yeah, I, I am growing up. Neil, Neil, what what, what else do you have? Help. <laughs> well, I I know what else we have tomorrow. Oh yes, tomorrow. Tomorrow after my GAC tomorrow, we will be doing the first uh, round of uh, the first campaign mission of Imperial Assault. Ooh. Yes, and I've got help. Because I, I, you know, I'm out for blood. I, I want blood. Have you talked to him yet? No, no, no. I, I will message him. I will, I will have mm-hmm. a lengthy conversation with him at some point. Uh, either, um, no, tomorrow morning. I'll get in touch with him tomorrow morning. Um, because I'm kind of like hoping that you know he's just going to carry me so that I can say that we won. Um, but I'm sure <laughs> that 
he'll be doing most of the grunt work just to make sure that we win. I'll, I'll make sure that we're, you know, talking and secretly messaging each other on the uh, Discord. No. So that he can tell me the, the good stuff to do. It's like, so do this. And I'll be like, okay, right. Paul, I want you to do this. So, yeah, you know. And then I can claim victory. So, Because you told me. You told me I was going to win that tutorial. You lied. I lied. I didn't expect you lies to open the or door. I, I didn't expect you to go, here, Stormtrooper, come on in. <laughs> and I didn't expect your Stormtroopers to act like a bunch of pussies and run straight past the Wookiee. I thought that you were going to, you know, I thought it was going to be a good, clean fight. I, I you played were square the up objective. To my Wookiee. I played the objective. objective. He ran straight past my Wookiee. Literally, he he rolled the dice and just moved his stormtroopers straight to the objective. No battles, no fighting, complete and utter cowardice. You will pay Again, for your cowardice tomorrow. You will pay for your cowardice tomorrow night. Was this in your magazine, Nev? No, this was not in the magazine. It was a it was an article right. about fly fishing. And Neil, you have you have officially won Dick of the Week. Congratulations. Victory. <laughs> okay. All right. Anything else, Thad? Oh, no, I got nothing. Oh, no. I might have a mockumentary style video about the new tool that that game is coming out with. I'm working All on it. All right. Too. We look forward to that. Neil, anything else? No, no, I think we're good, mate. I think we're good to go. All right, we'll see you guys oh, oh, tomorrow. Oh, 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 for... wait, 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 yeah. wait, 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 wait. I'm waiting. I'm wait. Um, Flair's just gone live on his channel for some Yakuza action. Ah, so and last night, last around. night he started playing a game, and I, I kid you not, I went to bed early. He told me that little fingers were getting cut off. So <laughs> this is. I, I stayed up all night to watch somebody cut their little finger off in this video game and I missed it. So you should all go over and watch. I think we should raid. We're, okay, we're how raid about this? Members. How about this? We run the credits in a moment yes. and then we raid everybody into Flair. Yes, we raid everybody into Flair. Yes, yes, yes. Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. deal. Mm -hmm. All right. Now can I finish? Yes, now you can finish. We'll see you guys on uh, tomorrow. For my GAC at about 6.30 Eastern, I think it is. 7.30 Eastern. I'll post in the PA. Stick around for that tomorrow. Followed by, half hour later, Imperial Assault with Neil Andrew Air. And I'm pretty sure I gave you enough rages today. I think I did about three of them there, uh, Flair. Yeah, we, I we did raged. Three during we, raged. Show. we raged a lot today. We did. We did. Guys, be nice to each other, damn it. Take care of yourselves. Wash your hands. We'll see you next week right here on the Escape Pod, geeking out with Going Nerdy. What's going on? Where the hell are we? Paris? Thank you for pressing the self-destruct button. Attention! This is Colonel Sanders in forward command. Abandon ship! Abandon ship! All personnel proceed! This ship will self-destruct in exactly 10 seconds. <laughs> Counting down. 10, 9, 8, 6. 6? What happened to 7? Just kidding. 3, 2, 1. Have a nice day. Thank you. Hello, friends. This is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. The Escape Podcast was filmed in front of a live studio audience full of tweaked out murder bears. Sit, boo boo, sit. Good dog. <laughs>